ideas because uh, you know I don't I probably will still do Dex Faith build and you know get the Balder Swag sword, sh 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 sword and the Paladin armor well, more than likely and Sunlight Blade, Dark Moon Blade it's more like gonna be a Dark Moon Blade build because just because the Dark Moon Blade's better when you get the if you get if you are able to get the two to one magic adjust ratio thingy magic uh, scaling after giving 30 souvenir of a sparrow which is very handy dandy very handy dandy it's just like having the m16 in uh, battlefield if anyone gets that joke because that weapon is too handy all right so we're, we buffed out use power with inside player we're just gonna nice little tear swipe and then destroy the cargo um, this is New Game Plus 4, and <laughs> it's still too easy, even in solo. Just see, oh, two hits, he's gone. And uh, he's summon, uh, he summoned me, and the bosses had more. Summon each other at bonfires anymore. We should just meet each other by the boss door and do like that. And did he just teleport in? What the? F that's a graphics fit bug, because you couldn't see him there. Hmm. <laughs> Lol. Nice, what's up? Will your friend light these spears at him? Cool. Yeah, he's got a pyromancy glove in his hand right now. Yeah, uh, I casted Draco Walker Peace, which would make him slow, but he, I didn't get close enough. So he pulled into the rat corner, and I just started spamming lightning spares at him, which is pretty gay. I believe Sabo would have handled it. Anyway, he didn't take any damage. Killing asshole rats. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah, I got invaded. By the way, don't invade me. I was playing with my mate, and I was trying to summon him. He was trying to summon me, by the way. No, he was trying to summon me. And I got invaded by this asshole. I got pissed off. I just bomb rushed him. I destroyed him. I was like, you know what? Fuck you. This is literally what was going through my head. I was just like, I'll show you, asshole. And I don't normally do this when I get invaded. But I just wanted to get rid of him. And I just bomb rushed the fuck out of him. <laughs> and it's like, eat my fucking... I love the Baldur's Swag Sword, guys. It is has so much DPS. You can hit so quickly with it. It doesn't have massive amount of damage per hit, but it's fast. It's agile. It's responsive. You know, and I'm being an asshole right now, but hey, don't worry about that, guys. I'm not usually like this. I'll usually fight you fair. I won't. Pro I, I'll like if you start cheesing me with Wrath of God. Wrath of God. Wrath of God. Obviously. I learned this in after time. I haven't researched enough or read enough about it, and I recently like learned that if you uh, actually <laughs> get around uh, 80 souvenir of a spiral, you know it's the second or third time I'm repeating this, and that's 80 PvP battles won in Blue Phantom form. Uh, you turn those in. You don't have to do it at the same time. You can do it over time. To be honest, that would probably take me about two weeks to do. Probably more, because I play too much Battlefield these days. Um, and, um, you know, I got a maid here, so, so sorry about changing the topic. I hate laggy pursuers. I swear to God, I hate them so much. I fucked up pretty bad in this fight, but I just powered through it with poise and buff. It was pretty bad by me, but whatever. Oh, and an arrow to the face! What was he talking about? I was talking about... I don't even know anymore. I'm sorry, guys. Can you see, look up the sky, and you see the moon and the sun, right? And, uh... Night and day. And our world is governed by night and day physics and all that. Also, you know, <laughs> oh, I can't believe I went for that, or I can't believe he got me with that lag. But you know, there's you always been a huge latency issue in Dark Souls. Didn't realize he had the Paladin armor on, and that's probably why. And then I just got pissed off by you doing that. Tried to give him something else to think about, and then I we traded, we drew, which is pretty surprising because. By me fucking up like that, uh, I should have won. But uh, fair and square, sure, just lag and everyone encounters that. But I did fuck up, so it was my own fault. Sorry for that, guys. 
and I got it. Did I get invaded again? Oh, really? I guess I'm just showing off some trolley PvP again then. If, if I buff, it's because I don't want to be invaded. I want to get get done. Like, fuck off. Piss off. Like that. Oh, and I get hit by a fireball, but I take him out. So obviously he didn't have enough health. Uh, I guess he was a lot lower level than me. I think. I don't know. I really don't know how the PvP search system works and finds people to connect to. If it's based on level or area or whatever. So I'm trying to summon my Mei so we can continue on. Right now, I was, honestly, I troll people with some graveyard stuff, I guess. And I'm preparing to be invaded because <coughs> the fog gate is up. And I still have power within from last time. Yeah, I guess I got invaded again. Is that the same guy as last time? By the way, you see me spam a lot here, it's because I love tricking people and you're just duking it out with me. Like, if I can get people to trade with me, you're, you're stupid. But, I do, I do try to get that going, if I can get people to trade with me. Bait them into doing it. Or see if I can just spam them. Gold? How did I hit him? <clears throat> Power Within killed me. I killed him, but Power Within killed me, so, gold. So, you gotta be careful with Power Within, guys. It's a double-edged sword. I was thinking about indicting him here, but I think I didn't do it. Maybe I did do it. I don't know. I think I gave him points anyways. And I come out of star screen, I'm like, what the fuck? I'm like, yeah, you got that? Yeah, you probably got that. Alright, you don't need to Just because it's so annoying when I have to go all the way back and get him again. And if I sit in the Wi-Fi, you know, we gotta go on and get him. using Crystal Soul Spirit. Protection! <laughs> if it hits you. Yep. Yeah. So it wasn't really that much. It wasn't that fair because I healed him. Hey. Record it. You gotta record it because he thought it was really funny. Here, you can cut tail when he does that. You have a lot of time. And actually, it is kind of funny. <laughs> with the amount of damage you can do with this thing. It's not as fast as I like it to be. And I suck with these these sort of weapons, but it's still a lot of fun. But this guy's total dick though, so yeah. The boss is almost dead, so you know anything can still happen. We can still fuck up. I'm out of buffs. I'm probably just gonna back off and heal up, just because I don't want to fuck up. I want to play it safe. And he should just charge the host, so I'm gonna try and run in here, play decoy, throw some lightning spirits up his ass or something. Yeah. Oh dude. And Calumny can cover a lot of ground quick. It's pretty stupid, actually. How much ground he can cover quickly. And he's down, ladies and gentlemen. Calumny hey, asshole is dead, dead, ladies and gentlemen. He's not that difficult, he's just a Total asshole with a lot of range. You cover a lot of ground quick. because it's harder for people to invade me on PC. Because I think it's, there's very few people that can even connect to me. I don't know why. It's probably something with my router, with PSN, VPN, whatever IP, DNS, strict DNS host. I, I don't know. Uh, on Xbox, that's open and fine. It's the NAT, isn't it? Yeah, NAT. Whatever. Uh. Yeah, we buffed here. Um, so I was running out in the middle of the roof, you know, because uh, he won't trigger animation. He's already with the gargoyle, and the gargoyle's like, fuck you! <laughs> That's pretty funny. You can actually do that. And I don't know why the tail didn't cut, but, you know, he died so quickly. 
I actually thought you cut the tail from standing right behind him like that. And now we're just circling around him, and he's probably gone. He died fucking quickly. One time, that that guy committed suicide. We killed the first guy. I think it was a New Game Plus 2 or 3. And he got... I, I don't know what happened. I think he spawned outside the map, and he came flying in. And he hit the gargoyle statue, and he just fell off the map and died. And I was like, what the fuck? Because I barely saw it in my the corner of my eye, and I saw the soul counter go up. And I'm like, dude. Did that just happen? Because that was hilarious. So it was the yellow one. And now we're doing that Chandler Trollolol dance, which is just absolutely hilarious. <laughs> it's, a, it's a nice buff. You get some more extra da damage. Da -da -da damage. I don't understand why I'm quicker. I'm usually always quicker than him, buffing up. And I should buff up later than him, because I'm the Phantom. It's so annoying. Oh, I should buff up first. But I always somehow manage to beat him most of the time. Like, no, I'd say 90-80% of the time. Well, that's a big difference, but still, I beat him in that. Not that it matters, but still, you know, look at all the health I lost because I don't have the Bellering, Lingering, Dragon Crusher, or whatever it's fucking called. The one that <laughs> I'm just trying- Oh! And I get fucked up. I tried to bait that attack, and I got insta gibbed. And Sabo got pushed in that corner, and he's trying to kill him. Yeah. Well, it wasn't Dark Souls, he couldn't die. But yes, he killed him, and now we're killing him in my world. So, he died pretty quickly, anyways. And, <laughs> now I took my Toyo's armor on too, just because, I, you know, tried to look badass. It is a really cool looking armor piece, but it's not, you know, it's, I'd say Dark Wraith armor is a little bit better, and that armor is that cool, and what the fuck, Splash Damage, look at the damage, look at the, you hit him in the head, or his head starts wiggling, and you get shit ton of damage, and then you just have to get the fuck out of his way, and you can run around, get in the standard dragon position fighting stance behind his ass, you know, and that's how quickly you can deal with the gaping penis. And you get the Blight Town key, and you go down to Blight Town, and you kill Quaylag. Did not. What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? I'm Red Lotus Dragon, and today I got some Dark Souls trolling for you. If you ever thought Gwen was hard, he's not. Here's my limit break, my OP mode, whatever. Uh, new game plus four, uh, easy as shit. If you ever had problems with this boss, uh, obviously you probably don't, because you're all Dark Souls veterans and you're all hardcore. Yeah. And here comes Gwen rushing forward, and I say, ah, oh, fuck you, asshole. Then, sit down. No, sit down. Sit down, asshole! That's right. That's right. Sit the fuck down. This is when... This is when... You are broken. You are too easy. And that... Katy Perry, sit down. There you go. Sit down. Because you are finished. And gone. There you go. Last hit, just to get him down. Yeah, sorry about it if I scream on the mic, but hey, whatever. Uh, why do I do such ridiculous shit? Just to show how cool I am, you know? Try to look cool, try to look good. Even though there's a bag of fail in there, but hey. And here again, you got fucking Dark Souls Limit Break. Got a nice beat for you here. Hope you enjoy it. Buffing up, going through the fog. This guy's not gonna know what's going on because he's, he's got dental appointment. Unkind, motherfucker! And yeah, why do I do such silly shit? I just think it's hilarious, so yeah, that's pretty funny. So, go try it yourself, man. It's a lot of fun. You can do a lot of ridiculous stuff. I'm pretty happy with the results I got here. And oh, recently I discovered that if you use Dark Moonblade, I always knew there was something different, but if you use Dark Moonblade, right, then you got, what's it, 80? I think it's 80. Uh, if you give an 80 to the Covenant in total, you'll get a 2.1 2 magic adjust to your Dark Moonblade, which is pretty nice if you got high faith and a Dark Moon Talisman. Get some more figures out of that, so I'm interested to see how much more damage I can get out of that. Let's probably keep your eyes out for that. And yeah, that's probably about it. What I wanted to say. Um, there'll be a longer video up later today, probably. So.
about that, I guess. I'm just happy, you know, pretty impressed with the troll roll. I thought it was really weird, just how troll roll easy it was. Well, guys, I want to say thank you for watching, and uh, yeah, I'll catch you on the next one. Enjoy the rest of the song. Peace out. I play this game two or three times a week and play a lot of Battlefield competitively. You know, we have to practice for our scrims, our, our matches, so we scrim a lot. We practice and get all that stuff. But I, I jump in this game, you know, this game is a cakewalk, especially if you play co-op and... You see right now that we're buffing like mad people with Power Within, Sunlight Blade, and the Chandler buff, you know. As long as you have a build focused or circled around <laughs> Power Within and some sort of buff, like, as in Sunlight Blade, Magic Crystal Weapon, even a Pine Resin helps. And it is just, it is so OP. It make, it's easy mode. If you're having tr troubles in Dark Souls, this is my, rec my recommendation for you. Power Within... Um, messy, but they're a lot more stable. And every time I upload a YouTube video, it just takes forever to uh, to uh, upload a YouTube video. Uh, right now, we're buffing again. You know, we're fighting that boss that says Fortress. And as I said, this is easy mode plus plus. We're in New Game Plus Three, and we're not feeling it at all. This is a JRPG. You level up, you upgrade your armor, you upgrade your equipment, your sword. You get buffs like this, it is fucking easy. I wish I recorded the first kill of this. Oh, I got slapped in the face right here. I wish I recorded the first kill of him because we threw him the fuck off the edge. Like, it was five seconds. We ran up to his right leg, we hit him, he, he fell the fuck off. And it was so funny. I And I thought I was recording at the time. I realized, oh shit, no, I was not recording. But look, look, all right, he's down. That's basically what happened, but he was closer to the edge. And I would just get up in his crotch and kill him, and he's boom, gone. You know, I could I could have sped this up and you know made it better, but I, I didn't feel like it. Uh, you know I you know uh, I believe I really enjoy this game. Right here, I just want to buff again and show you how fucking easy. If you ever had problems with the gargoyle boss, boss, I recommend doing this. It, it dies so quickly. It's just it's a joke. It is just a joke, and this game is uh, I love this game, just because. I can still die, I can still fuck up, in no matter what New Game Plus difficulty, New Game Plus 5, or whatever, I, that's why it's still interesting to me, you know, you think about this game, and you're like, and all the hidden clues and lore and all that, by the way, if you want to check out Dark Souls lore, I recommend Epic Name Bro, that's all again, this boss is a fucking joke, but I, I didn't even know about this guy, right, and my friend told me about him, like, and I was, I've been down in Orlando, I killed like four kings, I killed Sif, I killed see the scales. And we only had Eagle left, I believe. We only, yeah, we only, yeah, we even went down and killed Seas list discharge. Better chaos, all those. Seneca Demon. And we went to this guy. I didn't even know about this place, right? Way back in the day. Now I didn't this game. My friend was helping me play it. And we got this guy and I was like, is this a joke? Is it, was this a boss? Like, what the fuck? It was the easiest boss. Yeah, but anyways, guys, I'm not gonna drag this out. But anyways, um, thanks for watching. Uh, if you have some friends and people on my channel, and videos, uh, please send them over. Send them a link. Send them over to my channel. And like, subscribe, whatever. Uh, drop a comment if you feel I deserve that. But, yeah, I want to thank you for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. Enjoy the rest of the gameplay. Peace. a little bit more enjoyable to watch along the video overall and fucking loading screens and shit
Anyway, I hope you guys like. Don't mind the music that's playing in the background. It's what I listen to sometimes. Basically, the reason why it's in this video footage is I forgot to turn off when I was recording. And I didn't really think it would be the biggest issue, but right now I can tell it's really loud. And I just thought I'd leave this in here. This is Anna Rolando. I'm really thinking about playing, doing a lot of Dark Souls Let's Play or Playthrough. Probably call it Dark, Dark, Dark Souls Madness or something. Um. Uh, I, re I really want to do that. Um, and what, Miss Qualex or whatever. Um, channels. There's a lot of speculation, you know, text dumps, and they've done a lot of digging. That's that's the only reason why I still play this game. I'm really interested in it. Like, I, yeah, I did not expect to like this game this much. Like, it's kind of like Battlefield in the way that the more you know about this game, the more knowledge you have about this game, uh, the easier it is. Of course, it helps doing it, you know, like you get a sense of accomplishment, uh, a feeling of mastering the game, you know, but still, fucking, it helps so much just the knowledge, knowing what, what will work, what won't work, what should I do, try new things too, man, don't just get in the same tracks and just, you know, do that, that's boring, they get stale and one-sided, it's just like, yeah, on the battlefield, for example, where you know I I I, I always had a, felt I had an edge on people in that game, right? And uh, and I went on YouTube and I looked up some videos and I was like, wow, well these guys know a lot more about Battlefield 3 than I do, right? And I learned a lot, like weapon stats, damage, what what weapons had good reload times, and you can keep going for longer. It was amazing. It, it fucking blew my mind, right? Just those simple things. And. Um, now I feel everyone's caught up though on Battlefield, like everyone is like public knowledge, like <laughs> it's kind of annoying because I used to be able to go like fucking on 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 KDRs every round, top of the team with 100 kills, 4 deaths, and you know, stuff like that. Of course I died more than 4 times but I got revived a lot, so yeah. <laughs> Now we're finding super horns. He's doing his fat flop or whatever. Really easy to beat, even though I fuck up a lot in this fucking boss fight. I fuck up a lot. <laughs> like, this is kind of embarrassing to be honest, to how much I fucked up in this boss fight. Trying to split his attention because it's a way of making the boss fight easier. Like the boss AI or every AI will first go attack the guy who's closest without damage last, but he'll every every once in a while or so often he'll do a periodic check. Check who's closer. So even if you dealt damage to him, but the other guy's closer, he'll still go for the other guy. Uh, I absolutely love this game. Me and my mate were just playing here, I summoned him in, we're doing some co-op, you know, just chilling. And I noticed there's a red phantom, uh, Silver Knight, in my world. There's like Black Tendency in Demon Souls. And I wondered, what the fuck was up with this? So I decided to record it and upload it to YouTube, show to you guys. Hopefully, I don't know, maybe some of you guys have seen this before or know what's up. I've never seen this. This is in New Game Plus 2. Uh, I've never seen this before. I've seen that little crap. Uh, red, get yeah, red phantom crab, but or whatever the globe with the, I don't know what it is. And then I saw the red giant outside, and this guy, and a couple more red phantoms, and I was like, what the fuck is going on? I've never seen that shit, and he, they have a sick a ton. Of so, and here's the other red phantom that we encountered. I'm just checking around because we got invaded by somebody. And look, look at the damage he did to my friend. That was just like one or two hits, and he was almost dead. And we get a nice little backstab going on, just circling around, uh, using the AI's weak spot against him, like, the AI is badly and I notice, oh, well, that's normal, and holy shit, that's not normal. Two guys with spears, silver knights, red phantoms, and I just, I find this interesting, because I played uh, uh, numerous times to Dark Souls on New Game Plus, pluses, and I've never seen this, ever, and when... Later on, when my mate summoned me into his game, he didn't have red phantoms. He didn't have a red phantom stone giant or whatever they're called. 
and Silver Knights. So, <laughs> again, I just find this mind baffling. This is the entire reason why I loaded, uh, uploaded. I might. I have been thinking about doing some Dark Souls content because I really love this game. But, I don't know. I've been hesitant. There's a lot of good uh, Dark Souls playthroughs, Let's Plays, and all that out there on YouTube. I would love to do one. I, w I would. I really like this game. I enjoy it a lot. Yeah, it's a difficult game because it's Dark Souls. Oh yeah, we got invaded. And I just let my mate fight it out. I don't want to double team him because it's unfair. Even though he didn't invade me and I should fight him, not my friend. But, you know, why not? <laughs> it it's fun. Uh, and he destroyed him with his pine resin. <laughs> and uh, other red the end cinematic guys if you're interested in seeing it the dark lord ending or you had the snake serpent dildo conspiracy or the deep throat generation lined up to serve you in your endless deep throating days <laughs> oh, God. and there's that many of them how did he get around like seriously I don't have any fucking legs. You know, put some of that credits in here and shit. You can hear the double music here in the background. Dark Souls credits are amazing though. Love it. Love the music. Love the boss fight music. Love everything. It's a great game. Great atmosphere. Um, and yeah guys. That's about it for today. I want to thank you all for watching. If you stayed all true to the end, you're a legend. Thanks so much for watching. Peace out, guys. I will catch you all in the next one. Have a